So Pablo, I thought this was going to be the last full body Brazilian rosewood burl that I could do. But I think if I put three different pieces together and ten them all together, yeah. I think I can get one more. Wow. I three. Three pieces. It's going to take three pieces, okay. though. Yeah, there'll be a head joint, something in the middle, and uh -huh. then the end. It'll be an opportunity to do something special. Exactly. Very something creative. really amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and really, anyways, I'm Which excited about it. Which you did with this, man. I gotta tell you, Pablo, I really love this flute. This, in my opinion, is the best turtle carving I've ever done. I really love it. Um, I went with some different ideas. The the turtle is carved out of uh, that walrus ivory. We've got walrus ivory. We've got the white vein black stone again um, for the uh, coral. Which is, is the first coral you made? This is the first time I even had this idea. You know, in the past, I always put the turtle on a simple wave but I wanted something special for this flute. I remember you were carving the, the coral and I came to visit to get some footage. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm making a coral. I'm like, I don't see how that's going to work. <laughs> how are you going to put these two things together? <laughs> I, and you nailed it. Dude. What was my answer though? When you brought that question to me, I said, Pablo, I have a vision. I have from, a vision. Yeah, I have a vision. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to go here. No, excuse me, like this. Turtle on that. That's okay, I got a vision. Oh, I bet. I'm very curious. I love it. I'm really, really pleased with it. And um, it's got the pale moon ebony on it. Yeah. Uh, the totem as well. I need to make the new base for the totem. I'm not happy with that base. But the flute itself is spectacular. And while we were making the turtle totem, we had so many different ideas. Hmm. Is it Dana Harvey? Who is that? Turtle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's his yeah. name? Is it oh, Dana Harvey? I don't That's know. You I always ask me and I never know. <laughs> master of disguise but man you had a a big because this wood is probably the most precious wood that you've ever gotten ever brazilian rosewood burl burl yeah i yeah. mean you google that it's only wood sounds flutes that yep. you see that's right so this is the very last of it and you even had a super tight oh you had no Dude, room I for had, mistake i had less than a sixteenth of an inch no room error. for error. No room for error. Show me the two. Oh. Then I screwed up. <laughs> you pushed it. I went fast instead of slow. And it, On a turtle flute, for crying out yeah. loud. <laughs> well, it's why we're making the turtle flute. Yeah. yeah. Just to remind ourselves. To remind. And what happened was, at about this point, I started getting worried about so much smoke coming out because it was heating up, and I went faster. And when I did, the hole dove this direction and a little bit this direction, and it goes down about that far. I know that how far it goes down because I put the mandrel in there and when the whole dove, it stopped. Mm -hmm. So I could measure it. Mm -hmm. So then what I did is I took that mandrel and I turned it down round here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I need it for a center. I need to be able to find a good center on this. Yeah. And so I'm hoping that this is just gonna stick out the end. Boom. Mm -hmm. And so 
the wheel turn now concentric, not around the hole, because the hole is wrong. Mm -hmm. It dives, mm -hmm. and it only goes in about like that far. Mm -hmm. So we'll make the sleeve that long, mm -hmm. and we won't have any part in the flute mm -hmm. that isn't properly um, solid. solid. So two great things you did on that repair. Get the mandrel to go through, and then repairing the actual wood. Yeah, because it literally it blew literally up. Oh, good. Okay. Hmm. So it wouldn't have mattered if I had done that or not. One of the things I'm super proud of was how I handled it when it blew up. Yeah, you didn't freak out. I didn't freak out, not even at all. And it's like Surprising this wood. Surprisingly, now that I think of it. I've been, right? <laughs> yeah. And I've been hanging on to the wood for like almost 10 years, yeah. waiting to make this instrument. Maybe you were in shock, Brent. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I know. I, yeah. No, you said. Uh, Everybody stop. I need you to come over here and look for pieces of Brazilian rosewood burl. Yeah. Because if you lose a piece of wood in the shop, it's hard to find it. Well, there's pieces of wood everywhere. Exactly. And dust. Oh. Yeah. And so, everybody came over. Madison found a piece. David found a piece. Yeah. yeah. You found some of it. And we, we all were, participated. It was amazing. Originally, you only put that uh, ivory. You only put ivory for the rings. <clears throat> and when everything was oh, yeah, that's right. done, you decided that you wanted to make your life a lot harder, <laughs> which is what we do as well. It's exactly <laughs> what we do. <laughs> because not only you wanted to put inlay, but you also went with this super thin material that breaks easily. And that was hard. Yeah, I and you created a new methodology for doing that. Kind well, of you thing. started using that drum sander not yeah. too long ago. No. And we're still figuring out things to do with it. Yep. So the thing is you come with fresh eyes and you find some things easier than when you're used to what you That's have. Right. Yeah. But man, I love the mix of these two woods. I do too. The pale moon and the Brazilian rosewood burl looks awesome. This flute just makes so much sense. Yeah. The only Perfect. thing I'm thinking on this Pablo, to be quite honest, I don't love the base of the totem. I love the turtle. I love the coral, but I don't love the base. It, it's not, it doesn't pull me into it. Are you going to remake it? Yes. That's going to give us that chance. Yep. I'm going to remake it. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll talk I about think it. There, I think that there's something, maybe we do something at the backside here. Yeah. Maybe we do some kind of inlay back there, yeah. right? Something, something that just adds one more little thing, detail that pulls the eye well, in. I feel like the base, you could make like a layered thing. Yeah, I've thought of that too. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. those layers are going to look very cool there. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And also, but it has to be very subtle. It has to be very, it can't be too much. The shoulders already have plenty. That's what I was thinking too, Pablo. That's why I'm kind of leaning toward, what if we did something that, something Only that, there? Only there, but maybe it comes up and pulls around. Mm. Maybe it's like some design that, you know, yeah. I, maybe like a triangle outlined in silver that then off the top of the triangle has silver lines. Something. I, there's something well, that think we'll about come it. up with. I don't, I'm, what if the coral is on a plate of silver? I don't know. We, let's, that's let's, a good idea let, too. Let's talk yeah. because silver is like so reflective that it's like water in a yep, way. Yep. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it yep. and it's going to reflect things. I think that's cool. a pretty good idea, mate. You know, we wanted to make this turtle and the, there's going to be a story we'll tell with uh, some of these flutes, this flute and this flute yeah. about turtle. And, uh, in 2005, a, a man that came into my shop. Um, and we'll tell that story another day. Yeah, but he ended up giving you a turtle. He ended up gifting me a turtle from his medicine box. It literally was in his medicine box 
I walked by it. Yeah. I was teaching him some things. Yeah. I walked by the medicine box, saw the turtle, and commented. I said, man, I keep seeing turtle everywhere. And he launched in on a story with me. The oh, essence yeah. of it is slow your ass down and then succeed. Exactly. And that is what I needed at that moment to be able to successfully bore flutes. Yeah. I was failing yeah. at that point. Boring Completely flutes. failing at boring flutes. And when I saw that turtle and he told me the story, my head went, ka And I made a change in how I did things and it saved me. Well, it's the classic story of the tur turtle and the hare, right? Absolutely. Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. Yeah, slow, smooth, smooth is fast. Slow, smooth, smooth, smooth is fast. fast. Yeah, I like that. I do too. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's what we were talking about when we were thinking of this. Yeah. Right? I want to say a couple of things also that are very special about this flute that are very obvious to me. So the CNC is slightly tapering the flutes correct you, i think this one shows it easier but it's getting a little bit of a taper yeah but you you went ahead and you finished turning this flute completely on the i didn't lathe. do that flute on the cnc at all at all at no. all lathe, lathe and, and mill. mill yep and it's so evident to me that this flute is completely parallel and i love it and the the fact that the shoulders are short also keep that just it's very sleek, streamlined sleek yeah right like a barracuda yeah i love it the other thing is you go a little extra with these legendary flutes when I it do. comes to the finish i do and it's smooth super so smooth. smooth i love that yeah yeah me too yeah you know yeah i probably spend twice the time at least on when when a flute gets to a certain price level I feel a responsibility to my clients to give them better quality, even if they can't see it, because even seeing the things that I fix is hard to do. Well, it's honoring materials as well. Exactly. Right? It's, yes, it's respect and honor to yeah. both the materials that we have the opportunity to work yeah. with and the clients that are gonna be receiving the instrument. And even if they never see it mm -hmm. and feel it, it's okay. Right. Because it's the intention. And I think that intention gets communicated every time they play the instrument. 